If you saw the Parkland Matadors play last fall on the gridiron, then you most certainly were struck by the play of wide receiver DJ Crest, a six foot three speedster with fantastic hands. What we all saw watching him play last fall in El Paso, the Texas Tech coaching staff saw too. They offered him a scholarship a few weeks ago. Today, Crest officially committed to the Red Raiders, and he had just two offers from Texas Tech and New Mexico State, but he took an unofficial visit to Lubbock this past weekend for their spring game and loved what he saw. Crest wanted to secure his spot in the Red Raiders 2023 signing class, so he committed today less than three weeks after getting his first offer from the Red Raiders. He's a rangy receiver who patterns his game, he says, after Julio Jones. Crest is looking forward to making a big impact in Lubbock in a couple of years. I really wanted to reserve my spot over there. Everything is like family over there, you know. So NMSU, it felt like family too, you know, but I think, I just think Texas Tech really fits me more, you know, their offense and everything. So their offense is really fast, so I got to really adapt to the offense. And um, they, they, I talked to them this morning, they said, keep, keep what I'm doing, you know, like they said I could really contribute to their offense really well. He'll still have to deal with the wind out in uh, Lubbock as well. He had 46 catches, 850 yards, and 11 touchdowns a season ago. He was a constant big play threat. He'll look to have a strong senior season at Parkland next fall before going to Lubbock. And he is one of six El Paso football players that have current Division I FBS scholarship offers. L.J. Martin, Shea Smith, and Tyrone McDuffie all have Power 5 offers and could follow in Crest's footsteps to that level soon. Malcolm Anderson and Jaden Wilson both have multiple Division offers from Group of Five programs.